First of all, we have to study the language of anatomy and to start with, the, the first thing that we should understand is the anatomical position. When we describe anything, because as I said, that anatomy is mostly about description. So when we describe anything, we should always relate to the body in the anatomical position. And this is the anatomical position. It is unlike any other position. Um, you can see here that the, when you describe the body, you should describe it as standing upright, the head looking forward, the um, toes are directed uh, forwards as well. The limbs, the upper limbs and the lower limbs, they are adducted, that means that they are brought toward the midline of the body. And as you can see here, that the forearm is rotated so that the palms are looking forward. So this is what we call uh, the uh, supination of the uh, forearm. So um, it, it is, is even it is not like the um, soldier standing in attention or even at ease. It, it's not related to, to that. It is the anatomical uh, position. When we describe anything, we should always keep in mind that the body is the, in the anatomical position. Even if the patient is lying in bed, even if the patient is lying supine, prone, sitting, we should always imagine that this person is in the anatomical position when we um, describe the relation of the body parts. <laughs>